Hey guys, Andy Tran here with the Inner Bark Outdoors channel. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. I do two videos a week on the outdoor survival, do it yourself and reviews. And in this video, I wanted to go over the dog sort of bug out kit slash EDC. This is something that came up in my family preparedness video. And a few people commented that they haven't really seen something like this before. So I thought it would be worth kind of giving you guys a rundown on it. The base of this whole thing is the Orion Kennels. This is, I believe an 83 which is their large, um, and it's perfect for my 50 pound blue healer. And so um, overall, this thing is kind of designed for overnight trips or if we had to bug out um, as part of our family bug out kit. So inside the kennel itself, we have a small dog mattress. And this is something that I just picked up from Cabela's, uh, but this one is pretty good. And I've been pretty happy with it so far. Uh, it's got a waterproof bottom, a really thick sort of like ballistic nylon top and has just enough cushion so that, you know, their, their bones and stuff like that when they're laying down isn't gonna be on a hard surface. So right here on the top of the kennel, we have the food and also dog poo bags. Uh, I didn't really mean to do it this way, but this is kind of like the food in and food out section of the, uh, the crate. And so this is a, uh, a dog bag dispenser that uh, Orion does sell and it clips into the molly, or you can clip it onto a belt loop or another piece of equipment with this little tiny clip here. It has a small little grommet that the bags would feed through. And there's enough space in here where you can fit several rolls of bags in there so that you'll never run out. And then this is a hard dog food carrier. And not only does it you know, protect the food from getting messed up from travel, but uh, once you unclip everything. These two halves turn into dog food bowls. So you have your food container and then you have a way to feed it to your dog and then clip it back in. That way it's all together. Right here on the side we have a bunch of pouches that Orion does have on their website as well. Um, the first one is sort of like a water bottle uh, pouch and on the bottom it's mesh so if it ends up raining or um, dirt you know goes inside of it it just quickly sheds out of it out through the bottom so it fits a, a 32 ounce bottle pretty nicely and then for this one what we did was we decided to store the dog's silicone um, water bowls and so they kind of pack nice and flat just like that also on the outside of this thing since we have an extra pouch. This is where we keep our extra leads. This is something that uh, we decided to do because it seems that when we're really excited to get out of the house, we'll forget their main leashes. And so this is a good way to always have a lead with the dogs. And last but not least, we have the dog first aid kit. So I'm gonna get a little bit closer into this one. This pouch is easily detachable from the actual crate itself. So it's a little clip right there and then you can pull it off. And just as a reminder, this is sort of supplemental to first aid kit stuff that we already have for humans, uh, but there's things in here that wouldn't really apply to a human that are really good for a canine. So this thing folds out flat, which is nice because then you can see the entire contents um, in front of you. And so the first thing you'll notice is these little tiny dog booties. Dog injuries to the bottoms of their paws is pretty common whether it be from glass, hot pavement, little burns, things like that. And so having something that covers up their paws either as a preventative measure or after you apply a bandage to keep the bandage from coming off is pretty important. Uh, this is a free first aid kit that I got from Survival Armor. And uh, I decided to throw this in for the dog because it kind of has a few items that are pretty important. And uh, one of them is compressed gauze. So you can obviously pack like a large wound with that stuff to uh, put pressure on the inside as well as help you put pressure on the outside. And then, you know, there's duct tape gloves in here, but it also includes the SWAT tourniquet. SWAT tourniquets don't work that great for humans, but because uh, a dog's, you know, arm or leg is so much thinner than a human, um, these work where, say, a cat tourniquet or a soft tee wouldn't work. One of the items that we added to it would be these little tiny tick tornado tick removers. Um, and then any additional stuff, you know, like Israeli bandages, if we needed to, we can also use for the dog. Another thing that's very canine specific is 
a soft muzzle. And so obviously this is not something that a human would carry for their first aid kit, but it's really good to have for a dog because there's a good chance that if the dog's really hurt, might be scared, might be nervous, and if it bites you, that's really bad, um, even though they don't intentionally um, try and hurt you. Um, it just might be a reaction that they have. Uh, we have some of these bandanas. Bandanas are good because they're obviously a big piece of fabric that you can use as a, a wrapping or any of that stuff. And then you can also spray, bug spray directly on that, wrap around the dog's neck, that way they're not getting mosquitoes all up in their face and in their eyes and in their ears. On this side, we have the septic powder. Um, and this is stuff that a lot of dog groomers and vets use for small cuts. Um, you just put it in there and then it automatically coagulates the blood. That way you don't have to use bandages and stuff like that. And then also a thingy of Coban, like kind of flexi bandage. And so this sticks to itself so you don't have to have clips, but it also adds a good amount of compression depending on how much tension you put on there. Hi dog. Hi. So that is the first aid kit. So that is the dog's EDC slash bug out kit. This is sort of a, a supplemental to stuff that we already have, and this is no way gonna be like a long-term thing. But we got medical supplies for most of the things that we're gonna run into on the trail. Uh, we got a food for a couple days, and obviously we have a shelter slash uh, comfortable place for the dog. If you guys have any comments or questions, you can go ahead and message me direct or comment down below. If you guys enjoy the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and also check out my Facebook page, Instagram, and other social media. It really helps me know that these are the kind of videos you wanna see. But as always, take care out there, bye.